All right. For this uh, this seventh class, I'm going to show how you can make a collision geometry, and we're also going to go over a little bit of the rib bob. So, um, so one thing that annoys me a lot is uh, when I'm animating and I have to get my feet to stick to a, a floor or like a something that's not that's not flat. Animating by hand is extremely annoying and usually looks terrible, so that's not the route we want to go about it. So we're going to show a way how to procedurally make the feet um, never overlap with the ground. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to make something like a grid. And I'm just going to merge these two so you can see everything that's going on. And let's get this. I'll go ahead and I'll make a flat wire shade so we can see all the subdivisions. I'll go like 100 by 100 or something like that. And let's do something decently large. Something like uh, that. I kind of want to make if I go like a little bit less. Maybe the extra makes me look like a moron. That's whatever. That's that'll work. All right. So let's keep it not. Let's just call this our collision surface. And you don't have to necessarily just do this for floors. You could use this for other things um, as well. So uh, bring this up actually, so we can kind of. And let's rig pose this character. Let's move her over here or something, and let's have her take a have her taking a step. So this is not how you should actually. You should probably do IK for this, but I'm just gonna quickly and dirtily do this. So her feet are going through the the floor and we don't want that so we're going to find a solution for that Where's it? Here. okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to drop down a rig bob I'll let this tribute up right here and we're gonna hop into it and the way you work the rib bob is you have to be uh, have your handle enabled. So if it's not, you just hit escape and then hit enter, and, and you'll be in the right mode. And you notice you can click on these. Now, uh, the one thing about the rig bob is that it it uh, basically computes your output and your first input. Um, and usually, when I'm messing around here and doing stuff, I don't want to actually be selecting any of the output stuff because that's just uh, annoying so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to disable the output so now we just have uh, our input uh, points and I'm gonna just go ahead and drag in our feet and then we can go in here and we can either type in set uh, point transform or we can select these and we can go set point transform I'll go ahead and just do that um, and in this uh, it's going to uh, try and set it if you set it in the viewport but really all you need to do to make sure this one is, is setting the right point is you need to, to connect this point number to this get point transforms number so this uh, as long as th this input is basically telling uh, the rig fop which output which which point to set all these values for so I'll just copy this over to this guy Okay, and so now um, in here we can do lots of stuff. So uh, the transforms inside of these joints uh, in, in, in RigVop work in a uh, transform matrix because they, they, the orientation is important um, for these. So uh, one way we can transform stuff in here is just an offset transform. Uh, so and this is just showing you some stuff in uh, the rig bob. We don't actually need to do this. So you can see I can move this foot up 
And as long as this is going into the set tra point transform, uh, it's going to transform that point. But if I plug this, for example, into this point transform, it's going to set the other point, uh, which it's going to, you can't really see it actually because of this grid, but it's moving, hold on. It's move, moving this foot over here. So into this one, it's going to adjust this foot. And then because uh, this joint right here is this guy, if I plug this into the set point transform, it's going to set that joint's position. And since we're using the, trans, the original position of this foot and we're using offset transform, based on that, uh, it's going to be in the same place as it would be if I was just setting that, that foot. Okay, so I don't want to do that though. Um, so we're just going to delete that. And we're going to work on how we go about uh, setting this up. So one thing about the rig attribute pop is it's really, um, it's very annoying about how it takes inputs and it, it'll yell at you a lot uh, if you're not feeding it the right stuff or you're feeding it weird things. Um, it does not like to be fed geometry so if i plug this in here it's going to yell at me it's it's it hates it so what we need to do if we're going to plug in any type of geometry is we don't want to compute it so we actually have to go over in the on the top level of the rig attribute bop we're going to go over and we want to turn off compute transforms for input number two because we don't want to compute the transforms of this because there are no joints so if we dive back in um we can drop down now uh, a node called uh, Collide Geometry, <clears throat> which essentially it amounts to array, kind of. And what we want to do is we want to, let me see if I can do this all in one. Uh, I don't really care, no. So we're going to go into the Collide Geometry, and we want to set it to the second input. It's going to yell at you once, and then it should be fine. Um, so we have it set to the second input, so we're feeding it this grid, and we want to essentially grab the transform of this, and it's pretty simple how we do this, honestly, and we want to plug it into the transform. And you're going to see immediately that it's shoving the foot up, which, and we can control the collision distance um, with this perimeter, so... We want to find a good value because it... It doesn't know where the the outside of this foot is like a it doesn't know how thick the the skin is so you kind of have to play around with these until you get the right uh values you can also use uh other vops and stuff like that later on to to do some distortion and things but if you wanted to orient to the surface you could um do this uh match orientation um which will essentially snap the orientation of the foot to wherever it's colliding with. I usually actually leave this on. You don't have to though. I actually might not for this one. I'm gonna go back to 0 0.01 and you'll notice uh, it looks terrible because <laughs> in the rest of the rig is not moving with uh, with this guy. For something like this, for something like this other foot, we'd want to match the uh let's see we'd want to match this and maybe it's not colliding at the right point uh but w we can dive into that later um but right now you can see that it's it's projecting these guys up and maybe we change the collision distance to be a little bit closer so 0 0.5 might be good all right and so while that's working, the rest of this rig is not is not following along with it. So we, what we want to do is we want to use a full body IK and use these newly projected collide points as our transform our transformers. So let's say tab. I'll go full body IK. This guy in here. And it's gonna give us some errors initially, probably. Actually, we we want to plug this in above the rig bot. We don't want to use that yet. I'm gonna just create a null here, make this easier. 
and then we want to probably run blast or delete uh, joints stop in here and go ahead and delete We, we want um, the controllers essentially, we want the legs to be able to bend. So we don't want these to have their own weights. Um, so we'd like, uh, we li we'd like to, to delete everything but the feet. And then we want to make sure the rest of it isn't that affected. So we can select all these. We, we, don't, we, we can play around with what, what joints we want and, and don't want uh, later, but for now, we'll just delete all those and then check on delete not selected. Drop an add SOP and make sure none of these are parented to each other. So just delete geometry but keep points. And this should still work fine um, because all it's working on is the, the joints. It doesn't care about uh, any of the parenting or connections. Okay, so then we can go ahead and plug this into the full body IK solver and make sure this is set to match by tribute and should get some sort of results right off the bat. But really we wanna make sure that these weights for the feet are, um, are high and important for this. So if we do that, then we're essentially guaranteeing uh, that these feet follow the surface. And now you can see the feet are uh, snapping to the surface here. And on this guy, we can go, and I, I would like to also probably add a center of mass. So uh, the, the knees kind of bend with the uh, points and stuff. Yeah. Um, that's 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 one way to, to get some some cool transforms and things and you can play around with the other tolerances I'd probably always set the tolerance down to 0 0.001 and you can play with collision distance maybe one and then we'll maybe do like blend distance all that stuff basically all this is is this is telling it how far away it's going to collide with the uh, geometry and then this is trying to basically orient the axis to the uh, correct um, to the correct like curve of the surface kind of if that makes any sense and you can keep playing around with some of this stuff um, it's not always super uh, accurate, and the, the, there's some issues sometimes that you get. But there we go. Actually, that's that's better. So basically, I'm just um, editing the uh, up axis right now and the, of the normals. But yeah. So that's how you go about um, getting collisions with with feet and I can go ahead and on this uh, rig buff up here I can do all my animation stuff and then whenever I'm ready uh, to make sure that it's it's matched to the the floor the, the floor I can plug it in here um, there's also other nodes for this in here um, that involve things like motion clips but I'm not gonna get into that right now I'll get into that in uh, future um, classes uh, there is there is actually an adapt to terrain uh, effects node I believe it's here um, on you don't have to do uh, anything inside of a bop it should just be yeah it should be up here but you have to um, you're gonna have to create uh, motion clips and things to get this to work all right well I think that's um, that about sums up how you uh, can get some some fun uh, yeah, you can get some fun, um, basically, uh, clamp to, uh, ground 
constraints on your uh, rig mesh. All right, uh, that sums up this video, and I'll see you in the next one.